Hello everyone, welcome back to class. You're watching Anime Academy Summer School. This semester we're going to be talking about Anime Studios, the studios that bring your favorite series to life. I'm Miles Thomas and today's class is on PA Works. PA Works, or Progressive Animation Works, was founded in the year 2000 by Kenji Horikawa, an industry veteran who had worked with Tatsunoko Productions, Production IG, and B-Train. If you're in love with the lived-in feel of PA Works anime, then you can thank none other than Horikawa's in-laws for making it all possible. Delivering on a promise to have his children attend the elementary school near his wife's family, Horikawa founded his studio in the city of Nanto in Toyama Prefecture. This would prove to be a match made in heaven, as the studio and the location would have a tremendous impact on one another. As is often the case with new studios, it took some time before PA Works produced its first full anime, instead lending out its talent and assisting production for other studios, often working with Horikawa's connections at Tatsunoko and Production IG. During this time, they began a five-year partnership with Level 5, animating the cutscenes for the first six Professor Layton titles, and eventually producing the feature film Professor Layton and the Eternal Diva. PA Works' isolated location presented some unique challenges, making it difficult to bring a new talent so far away from the mecca of animation in Tokyo. In fact, it took eight years before they were able to tackle their own full-length production. But PA Works turned their disadvantage into a strength by making their first solo run an adaptation of the visual novel set in Toyama, True Tears. The anime was lauded for its beautiful depictions of Toyama, taken from the artist's first-hand experience, inspiring anime pilgrimages to the area. After True Tears, PA Works released the anime based on the hit game Kanon. Kanon came from the director-writer team of Masahiro Ando and Mario Kata, two industry legends at this point, with Ando just off the high of Sword of the Stranger. This ended up being a fantastic production and really led the way for the studio to continue on with great talent from Tokyo. The duo would reunite in 2011 to produce what would become a landmark title for PA Works, Hanusaki Iroha. This would be the first of PA Works' working series of anime, featuring predominantly female casts in big ensembles, this one taking place in Kanazawa, only about 40 minutes away from Nanto. The series hit off a massive wave of tourism to the area, and the city embraced its newfound popularity, even transforming the fictional Bombori Festival from the anime into the real-life annual event that has become one of Kanazawa's greatest attractions. True Tears and Hanusaki Iroha may be the prime examples of PA Works' symbiotic relationship with its neighbors, borrowing their natural natural beauty in exchange for promoting local tourism. The studio also released a short series entitled Koitabi, True Tears Nanto, which featured highlights of its hometown, even developing a phone app so fans can pull up scenes from the anime next to their real-life locations. The next anime in the working series was the wonderfully acclaimed, especially by me, anime Shiro Bako, depicting a group of female friends working in different corners of the anime industry. This year, they released Soccer Quest, which tracks another group of women, working this time at a tourism board of a rural town attempting to recover its local economy. Although each iteration of the working series has had a light-hearted tone, they have confronted uncomfortable realities of Japan's work culture and economy, earning them critical acclaim. From the beginning, PA Works established a policy of never really adapting anything with an established visual look. This way, both their staff and fans could experience everything with a clean slate. This also let them play up their strengths, whether it was the local local environment, or the brilliant minds they have doing background art, developing some of the most breathtaking original works in the business. Nagiyasu, Alone in the Sea, may be one of its most iconic works, a drama series taking place in a coastal village divided by its residents who live both above and below the water. Then there's Eccentric Family, a wonderful tale about a tanuki family and the supernatural politics of Kyoto, which is not only a visual love letter to the city, but crosses the border into the world of magic lying just beneath the surface. Setting up outside of Tokyo is unusual for a major animation studio. Although PA Works location has made it difficult to grow out their staff, it guarantees each new hire is dedicated to the studio's mission and fosters an intimate atmosphere among its employees. The gorgeous natural beauty of Toyama has had an unmistakable impact on their work. And PA Works has, in turn, breathed new life into the local economy, turning the studio into something of a local treasure. So once again, thank you, Horikawa's in-laws. What's your favorite PA Works project? Let us know in the comments section or tweet us your answer at at sign Crunchyroll with the hashtag Anime Academy and let us know what you think and which studio you'd like to see next. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to get notified whenever we put out a new video. Don't forget to share this video to help spread the anime love and we'll see you next class.